Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we'll start. So today uh, we'll discuss about uh, like uh, use of irrad irradiated blood products. So my topic. So here are the objectives I have put. So first we'll, we'll talk about the blood component, then blood irradiation and the indication, contraindication and uses. And the last one is a conclusion will come out. So here I put an image. So uh, as like everybody knows, the blood products plays a very important role and like to stabilize our patients and treating multiple issues that going on with them. So first we'll talk about the blood products. So there are like few uh, key things that most often like uh, to giving and treating uh, the patients. So uh, first there will be whole blood in that like usually uh, there are like uh, components. So first red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So you can see over here. So uh, I have put an image so that you can see like first down one, like how much the red blood cells and the, uh, the middle one is the Buffy Coats Plus, like platelet it will contain and the, uh, another one is the plasma. So here I have put a summaries of the blood components, what like uh, which blood components uh, usually we are using in our setup. So whole blood, uh, so like volume I have put and self life, you can uh, see over here. And the red blood cells, uh, like in one unit, how much volume it contains, so that volume it was there. So and platelet concentrate, uh, platelet phrases and the phrase uh, frozen plasma and the uh, cry precipitate these things uh, like uh, usually we are using in our setup blood components so uh, let's talk about the blood irradiation what is the blood irradiation so we know like uh, it's a like exposing of blood minimal in of 25 gray of radiation at the center of container like to preventing the replication and the graph of the immunological competent uh, of the donor T leukocytes to the recipient. So this is the like uh, like why we are doing the blood irradiation of the blood products. So here, the what is the main goal of the uh, like blood irradiation? So main is the like first to prevent of transfusion associated graft versus host stages, and another is to induce DNA cross link. Uh, prevent uh, lymphocytes proliferation. So these are like main important things in our uh, like uh, like to irradiate the blood products to give irradiated blood. So uh, for whom like uh, we, we are using the irradiated blood. So first thing is like uh, immunocompromised hemopoietic stem cells recipient or organ transplant. So for our setup, uh, like our patient will be immunocompromised for the uh, like stem cells transplantations. So for them, we are using and the patient who is like hematological disorder will undergoing for the marrow transplantation. And another, the baby uh, uh, who needs the intrauterine transfusion and the neonatal exchange transfusion for them, and the uh, the baby who will birth premature and low birth weight neonates that is less than two, uh, 1200 grams for uh, that baby, like uh, we need a irradiated blood, and the patient with uh, hot skin lymphoma, and some patients is having with the congenital cell mediated immunodeficiencies, for them also like we need a irradiated blood products. And the thymic hyperplasia, which got Adric syndrome, linear disease. So this kind of disease also needs uh, like uh, irradiated blood. So other thing is like chronic lymphoma, leukemia patients. For them also, like we need an irradiated blood product. And like and another thing is in uh, like as we uh, uh, in our BMT setup. So the patient who is receiving the food arriving for them also like uh, we have to give a uh, irradiated blood so and the recipient of the directed donation from the biological relatives for them and another is uh, like uh, the donation of the HLA mass donors for them and the recipient who are heterozygous at HLA locus for which the donor is like 
homozygous and share an allele, like most common in genetically homogeneous population. For these uh, people, also like we need a irradiated blood products, and some of the hematology like uh, we have discussed before, and the solid tumor like a breast cancer kind of like uh, disease, we need to treat with the cytotoxic acid. For them also, like uh, we need a irradiated blood products. So these are the like indication for like uh, we we need a irradiated blood to use them, and like contraindication like. If we'll do the blood product irradiation, what will be the complication? So main thing is it will reduce the self life. So like uh, we'll take a, a red blood cell. So it, like mostly it will uh, in self life it will be like 35 days. But uh, like it will reduce after irradiation it will reduce to 21 days. And another thing is leakage of potassium. It will happen like that. And some after irradiation some of uh, risks will be there. That is malignant changes. And, and another is reactivation of latent virus that like CMV virus like that and the plastic leakage. And these are like theoretical risks. And another is like practical issues. So cost effective will be there, validation, security of the irradiation, like whether the, uh, the blood products are irradiated properly or not, like when it was irradiated, like so that uh, like uh, details it should be there in the blood product after irradiation so what is like a sign after irradiating stickers irradiated stickers will be there so that is there uh, there in blood product or not that we need to check it out so that is main before transfusion we need to check everything that so another is potential hazards of irradiation so uh, like for radiation after radiation some of like uh, some of this malignancy uh, it will occur so mostly why it happens so when like the dose of gamma rays irradiation it will be uh, like uh, given in high dose so that will result in like complete cell death rather than the transformation so this will happen because of that like we should not go more than like uh, 50 gamma uh, like irradiation gray rays so that it should not exceed more than that so minimum is 25 and the maximum is 50 so that and like uh, before only like when we have discussed like what is the main goal of like irradiation so that to prevent the transfuse associated graft versus host disease so this like why uh, like how we can uh, like prevent it so if it will happen in uh, uh, what will be there? So first thing is like delayed immune transfusion reaction. So it will occur after like transfusion reaction, and most of the time it will be in graft of the foreign uh, like T cells, and and it will be like uh, it, it looks like it seems to be like graft versus host disease, and except in cytopenia is the prominent features in that. And usually it will arise in 30 to, uh, 3 to 30 days after the transfusion. So if you give non-irradiated blood, so it will happen if uh, like uh, it will occur. So onset of symptoms occurs only with the signs and the symptoms of bone marrow aplasia. So main thing is it will damage the bone marrow. So if we'll give non-irradiated blood, so and it will occur and it will it will lead to bone marrow uh, aplasia so general aspect about the irradiation of blood components so what will be like a main thing so lymphocyte viability is written in storage cells for at like at least uh, three weeks we can be take that and the uh, transfuse associated graft versus host disease has been reported after transfusion of whole blood uh, red cells platelet and the granulocytes and another is it will uh, like uh, it will be it will not lead uh, the transfuse uh, associated graft versus host disease is unfrozen uh, like uh, uh, blood components that are cry cryoprecipitate and the freeze frozen plasma are some of the like uh, like which uh, needs the like uh, frozen blood products does not need the irradiation like usually we are not doing 
so these are the thing like uh, why we are using so main conclusion so irradiated cellular blood component are very safe in general use and the uh, like it will it, it it prepares especially for one patient after not used for the intent patient so this you need to safely be transfused to the patient with no listed contraindication and all the donor blood and blood products for the immunocompromised suspected or the potential immunocompromised patient should be irradiated like uh, in our BMT setup, all the patients are immunocompromised. So uh, you have seen like all the blood product, whatever we are giving in our unit, it, it's all irradiated. So like abstract frozen uh, blood products and the bone marrow. Other all the blood products we are giving irradiation. Any questions? Any doubts? Hello? Very nice, Bina. Good. Uh, any doubt, sir? Any, anything you want to put on this, sir? Uh, not really. I, have... I don't have anything to add. One thing I want to just, uh, it's that um, just um, a quick comment is that, um, Unfortunately, you know that leukodepletion does not completely eliminate the risk of uh, transfusion associated graft versus host disease. That's why we cannot substitute blood irradiation with leukodepletion. In other words, um, the whole point, as you said, the blood irradiation is to inactivate lymphocytes and you could remove them with the leukodepletion filter but they 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 they're not removed uh, um, accurately enough. In other words, there's still enough uh, potentially lymphocytes remaining after leukodepletion that can cause transfusion associated graft versus disease. That's why um, irradiation is necessary. Yes. And even leukocyte uh, reduction, it will not. Uh, like prevent the CMBs virus, even the like uh, whatever the uh, like stem yes. cells. Yes, that's yes. true. All right, in in our patients, there are multiple transfused. The CMB is not a big uh, concern because they're they're essentially all CMB positive. But yes, yes. also leukodepletion may reduce the risk, but will not eliminate the risk of CMB transmission. Of CMB, yes. Okay. So, very good. So that was quick. So we can uh, do the a little uh, poll, and and then we'll discuss the questions of the poll on. Uh, okay. So I think uh, we can start. 